I will tell you how to test this type of outdoor mini split air conditioner motherboard with 6 IGBT drive for the inverter compressor. Mainly in most of the AC motherboards, this IC is installed to control the compressor drive, which is called an IPM module. These IC are given in a single package. But this motherboard has no IPM module for the compressor. Instead, 6 IGBT are installed in this motherboard to drive the compressor. Let me explain to you its test points, which make it easier to fix such compressor drive circuits. These three IGBT are for the low side circuit of the motherboard. It will generate three phase electricity for the low side. The combination of the three IGBT on the top are for the high side in the motherboard. All these IGBT are the same number. The number of the IGBT is 15N60T. The right of this IGBT is base. The centered pin is the collector. The left pin is the emitter. All the IGBT are of this same configuration. Now before passing the electricity to this motherboard, I am going to check these IGBT, whether any of them is faulty or not. I have told you about this IGBT emitter, collector, and base pin. I will check them on diode mode through the multimeter. If any IGBT shows zero value, then it will consider bad, but if the voltage drop is shown across the pins, then the IGBT is considered fine. Change the IGBT, which shows zero value on the multimeter. I will keep checking these IGBT until I not found the faulty one. No compressor drive IGBT is bad in the motherboard. Now I am testing the voltages across this motherboard. I am testing how many voltages are passing through this capacitor. 306 DC volts are flowing through its capacitor. Three shunt resistors are installed here through which the negative traces are attached to the emitter of the IGBT. From the emitter to the collector, the phase will be generated. The positive trace of the capacitor is connected to the collector, and the collector to the emitter the phase will generate here. So I will check the voltages on the emitter and the collector. 306 DC volts are flowing through them. If, for any reason, the shunt resistor goes bad, you will have to check voltages across all the phases. I was checking at the wrong pin. 305 volts pass through this phase. The same 305 volts are also passing through the last phase. I didn't place the probes on the other pins on the positive side because this trace joined with all the collector pins. In the IPM drive circuit, we check the voltages on the high side, which are the UVW phase. We get 15 volts in these phases, which are generated through bootstrapping. 22 volts are generated on these pins which are attached to these UVW pins internally. And this is how the bootstrap occurs. I am going to check whether the bootstrap voltages are flowing through this drive circuit. This IC installed in this motherboard is the IGBT driver. Through this IC, the bootstrap is occurring. You can see these three electrolytic capacitors. Through these capacitors, bootstrapping occurs in this circuit. Let's check whether the required voltages are flowing here or not. So I have put the black probe on the negative trace, and the red probe on one of the phase pin. It shows 14 DC volts. 15 volts are also passing through the next pin. On the last pin also, 15 volts are flowing. Take the neutral over here if it shows high voltages on these pins. This IC is the IGBT driver, which I have told you. All these bootstrap voltages. Besides this, IC controls this motherboard's high or low voltages. All the fault detection functions are stored in this IC. If an under voltage or over voltage problem is shown in this motherboard, this IC will detect it first and then tell the microcontroller what the problem is in the unit. Next, I will check the voltage across the base and emitter. I will check it across all the IGBT. The multimeter should show zero volts across the base and emitter pins. If voltages are shown across these pins, it means then that specific IGBT is bad. This IGBT is showing millivolts. This means it is fine. It is showing zero on the third IGBT. Now I am checking the base and emitter on the IGBT of the high side. Zero volts are passing on these pins. The same is on the second last IGBT. The last IGBT also passes zero volts on the base and emitter pins. This is how you will check whether this circuit's compressor drive is fine. 
click on the left or right thumbnail to watch our next videos and subscribe. Thank you.